Williams Field at Summit Country Day High School, home to the Silver Knights. Dedicated, driven, and disciplined. Under the command of head coach Ty Copeland, finishing a season of excitement, action, and lopsided victories. We've been on a major, major roll. Right now, as we end the season, we're playing as well as any Division Five football team in the state of Ohio. In fact, I'd say we're probably playing as well as anybody in the state of Ohio right about now. Silver Knight defense is a wall of determination. Defensively, we've played well all year. Um, Eric McKinney and Justin Cheers, Tim O'Brien, Ty Hogan, Matt Collins, all of those guys have played really, really well the entire season. Defensively, they've carried us. We had a pretty good defense last year, and this year I think we're giving up three points fewer than we gave up last year. And we've played some of the better players in the state of Ohio. We played Deshaun Wynn, and we held him to his lowest uh, yardage total. And Donnie Johnson, we held him to uh, 200 yards, which is, doesn't sound real well, but when he runs for 300 against everybody else, we realize how good of a defensive team we are. As the season went on, the Silver Knight offense proved to be virtually unstoppable. We've been awfully hard to contain uh, towards the end of the season here. We've actually went up. We're scoring about four points more a game than we did last year. So uh, we've kind of hit our stride, and right now we're doing really pretty good. As the season winds down, we're an awfully tough team to defense. Every day is a new day. I'm thankful for every breath I take. I won't take it for granted. Such 
School spirit is an important component to a winning team. That's where the Silver Knight cheerleaders come in. This year I would just like to point out that the girls have made some great strides in their fundamentals. Um, we have also increased our fan participation and bolstered student enthusiasm with our Fan of the Week program. The girls this year have really made some great strides in their overall cheerleading ability, their athleticism, um, jumps. Uh, we're going to focus on tumbling for the upcoming season. Until September 28th, a question has loomed over the Silver Knights. Who is the real country day? The rivalry was a bitter one, with Summit winning only twice in 18 years. This year, Cincinnati Country Day was playing well. They thought they were a shoe-in to take yet another victory from Summit. They thought wrong. Uh, when we beat Cincinnati Country Day, uh, I was so happy for my kids and my parents, even the administration of the school, I was happy for. Uh, obviously, they're our chief rival, and the fact that we've now beat them twice in the last 18 years says that they've pretty much owned us, and we've done a really good job of hopefully, hopefully turning that around. To watch the uh, joy on my children's face as they jumped around after we won was one of the memories I'll have for the rest of my life. Welcome back, second half of the Blitz. Time now to settle that weekly argument between George and Solly. Now, George, Solly's had your number. I mean, I think it's fair to say that in this head-to-head, -head, uh, Solly has pretty much had it his way. Yes, he has. He thought it was going to be this, his way this week, too, so he took Cincinnati Country Day. Mm -hmm. I jumped on the Summit Country Day bandwagon 
for this week's Battle of the CDs. Wait. Solomon with CCD, me with SCD. The lines are drawn. Let's go head to head. Now we call it head to head. There are some heads going head to head. Meantime, Summit on the move. Grant Bailey is the Summit quarterback. Three yard run in the third quarter, and Summit is up 14 to 6. How about that? But Bailey had more in his bag of tricks. Fourth quarter, up top he goes, 35 yards to West. He'll bring. And Summit, that's right, Summit wins the battle of the days. 28 to 6 is the final tonight. We're going to George, the day belongs to you. Summit Country Day. Solomon, and the night. It's going to be very, very difficult for me to not have these group of seniors. Um, I can remember when these kids were freshmen and we were god awful and they had to play as freshmen and they played very, very hard and very, very well. And the freshmen have turned our program around. Our football program wasn't very good and right now it is. And to say that I'm going to miss them is a huge, huge understatement and I'm as proud of them as I could be. Uh, I couldn't be more proud if they were my own children. My advice to them is to uh, attack life the way they've attacked football, full speed ahead, aggressive, and give it all you got. And some of my players are going to be very, very, very successful. The streets made me a scholar Thug the microphone one by one, hear him holler The short shots, rock box, rhyming on blast And beat spikes on my psych, homie, hip-hop, I'm all Cassidy Rapid catastrophe, but only time would tell Could we accel or rock bells like LL? Made me feel I was ill, music before we up Went to the doctor, D.O.C. gave me the formula Hey, young world, the world is yours Took my whole wide world into metaphors You kept me straight when times got hard So let me reminisce over you, my God Nice rock. The night rock. 